Hello there and welcome to my channel. I'm Ariana and as you can see here, this is my DIY Don't Hug Me I'm Scared Shoes video. And to start off, some things you'll need is a paint palette of some sort, these shoes of course which need to be canvas in order for you to paint on them, various acrylic paints and I'll have all the colors I personally use in the description below paint brushes to do the painting with, some water to clean your brushes up so they don't get all crusty, and paper towel to clean up your messes. So to start off, I took my shoes and some chalk, which I didn't include in that little beginning video, but you'll need chalk to outline the shapes of the characters that you'll want to paint on your shoes, and to get an estimate of how big and where you want to place them in order to fit all of the characters that you would like. And now I'm just going right in and painting. And a little tip that I actually did not do, but I think it would be very helpful, is to start off with a white base for all of the characters. What I found is that, especially the yellow paints, it is not very opaque and it took multiple layers to build up the color so you could actually tell what color it was. So an easy way to cut down on the layers of paint is to put white first and then put the color on top of that. So as you can see here already the yellow paint is it's not looking very opaque and it took me probably four layers of yellow to get it looking okay and even then it wasn't that great. So I would really encourage you to do a layer of white paint first and then the color on top of that. And what I'm doing now is just doing the color base for all of the characters in the chalk outlines that I had there. And if you're worried about the chalk staying on your shoes or anything, don't worry about it. To clean it off, you just need a wet paper towel, dab the chalk off the shoes. It will come off very easily and that's why I like using chalk for that. And now after I have the blocks of color on my shoes, I'm adding the little details in with pencil first to make sure I have them right. And as you can see here, the characters that I had was the clock right there, of course the red guy, the green guy, and the yellow guy, Roy, and then the calendar with the June 19th and then the little memo pad from the first video. And there they are with all of the details drawn on them with pencil. And now of course I'm starting to paint in the details with the paint. Yep. And again for this, if you're having some trouble getting the colors to show up well, like you can see there, the yellow isn't looking so good, start off with a layer of white paint and then put the color on top of there. It'll help so much, trust me. And actually, before I started painting anything on the shoes, I rewatched all six of the videos, which is what inspired me to do these shoes because I saw the last one when it released. And I went through it and I decided what characters I would like to put on the shoes. And then I did little mini color tests and drawing tests to see how they would look out, look drawn out. And then I decided that I only would include a couple of the characters, like the three main ones, Roy, and then some of the more memorable ones, I guess, from the first few videos. And this is actually my second shoe DIY painting video. Um, I have another one on soot sprites from the Studio Ghibli movies. If you're interested, I'll link that below or put an annotation somewhere on the screen. And if you have any ideas of other shoes I should make slash paint, let me know. I kind of want to do something Steven Universe related, but I'm not sure how to execute that yet. 
So if you have any ideas, please share them if you would. And now I'm using a little uh, detailing brush for the little mini details. And if you don't have a tiny brush like this, which is totally fine, you can use a toothpick, with which I think would work really well, or just um, a little needle will work very well as well to do little details like this, especially if you don't have a steady hand. And now for Roy and his straggly blue hair, first I did, like I mentioned before, the white paint down first, so then I would put the blue on top of that so that it would pop out more. And I had some extra space on the shoes, so I decided to put that date 1906-55 which keeps reappearing in some of the videos on there, and I did that on both of the shoes on the front where I had some space, and there is a quick look at both of the finished shoes. And as always, I'll have everything that I used in the description if you're interested, and I believe that is all. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you try to make these shoes yourself, and if you're interested in my channel, stick around and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Toodles!